when we look at the trends of where consumers are reaching, what they want to put in their cart, what they want to put in their body, as farmers, we hear a lot about um, lab grown or cellular and dairy free products. What, talk, talk a little bit about the trends there and how they, they might match up to the real dairy products we're putting on the shelves. Sure, Jenny. Um, one thing I think that sometimes gets distorted out there in the media is that everyone focuses on plant-based and the tremendous growth that they've had over the last 10 or so years. Um, but what they neglect to look at is how large the dairy industry is in comparison uh, to that plant-based. So for example, over a 52-week or one-year period of time, dairy products sold $80 billion worth of dairy, real dairy products versus only 44 billion, sorry, uh, with regards to the plant options. So huge, huge difference in that. And then if you look at how much they've actually delivered in terms of gains, again, much, much larger. We're at $3.8 billion gain in just one year period of time, whereas uh, the plant-based are about $260 million increase. So again, you know, sometimes percentages can, can be misleading uh, from a consumer perspective. And even within the dairy category, you know, we see many areas of growth. Certainly cheese has been a, a key driver over the long term and continues to be kind of a, a shining star. Um, but we also saw it during the COVID period of time that butter really stepped up from a consumer perspective with people, you know, baking more, cooking more. And even though, you know, inflation has kind of hit us and we start to see um, a little bit of maybe pullback, what we also know is that where we are today is still much higher than where we were before the pandemic even hit. Uh, so again, many of those at-home behaviors are still in place. Um, we also see some exciting things happening within yogurts, for example. We see people wanting the yogurt drinks, uh, something they could kind of take with them, a product they view as being healthy, delicious, you know, great taste is a, a key hallmark of dairy, I would say. Um, so across many categories, we're, we're seeing some great uh, growth areas. So I love that both of you mentioned yogurt. I love yogurt, but I just recently saw a TikTok or reel and it was of like the amazement of someone who was in France in one of their markets and the yogurt section just went on. It was both sides of the aisle and they were just, and I'm sitting there thinking, I thought our yogurt section was incredibly large. You know, it had more than you know, more than three items in it. And it's grown so much, you know, over the past few years. So, and I feel that the reason it grows is because there are new products, new formulations, new versions, the drinkables of yogurts, as you mentioned.